can I say? Like there's nothing left to say. Hello everybody, my name is Mesba. Welcome to my channel, The Corridor of Uncertainty, where I talk about the Cricket World Cup and I wanted to talk about Bangladesh versus New Zealand today. But I think it has to change to Bangladesh as a whole, Bangladesh cricket as a whole. Like usually I leave my ranting to the very end. This is a very short video, but I think today I have to rant. The whole thing will be one rant. Uh, I know that there was this Pakistani gentleman, I think in the 2019 World Cup or something. He has, you know, a big video where he became viral. I, I'm not interested in going viral, but today what did Bangladesh do? And what are they doing? All right. Let's 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 just go with it, right? We have a team that goes 40 runs for four wickets every game. Every game. You cannot have a serious cricket team when you are 40 for four every game. And it's not 40 for four, it's usually 20 for four. And then you have Shakeb who's hitting his way to 40. Mushfik, the ever Mr. Dependable who's scoring 50, 60 runs. And then that's it. We had big hopes from Tawhid Ridoy. He did some scores in, B, in uh, T20 and in the one day series against Ireland. We had big hopes from Shanto. Poor Miraj is being shifted up and down everywhere. This whole team is a mess. You know, like, it's almost like you compare a Bangladesh movie from Bangladesh to a big Bollywood movie from India. That movie has a standard, it has international standards, it has a wide reach, it has support, it has quality. And Bangladesh movie used to be, you know, playing in very uh, restricted group of theaters, set storyline, same predictable, same people watching. Bangladesh cricket is exactly the same thing. Same story being repeated match after match, match after match. No improvement at all. In fact, we have gone backwards. We have a new Tamim. Tanzit Tamim. You know what his average is? Eight. In seven matches, his average is eight. Naim Sheikh, the guy who he replaced, the one that everybody wanted replaced, that guy had a higher average than this guy. We take a team to the World Cup and there are no other openers. Even if we want to drop him, who do we bring him in? Tanzim Tamim. Litton. They are fixed. You did not want to bring the big Tamim Iqbal. Why? Because he is unfit. Because he is half fit. If he plays only five games. At least he would have had a chance in those five games that he played. Tamim Iqbal is quality. Tamim Iqbal is experienced. Yes. He also, he is not innocent. He tarnished his legacy by making all the drama. But you know. Drama on one side, quality and experience on the other. You need players that can open, that can bat, to be very blunt. If your cricket team cannot bat, it's not a cricket team. You need to be able to score runs. That's the basic premise of a cricket game, score runs. You can't score runs, you're out. You might as well go home. Like, it's frustrating. You beat Afghanistan and you think that's it. And even there we lost like I think three or four wickets. Look at New Zealand today. There is no other way to sugarcoat this. This was a hiding. They thrashed us quietly. It was tough batting at the beginning, but they were quiet. They played professionally calm, serene, the way an ODI is supposed to be played. We took a T20 team probably and put it in the ODI. We'll probably take a test team and put it in the T20. There seems to be no planning for Bangladesh cricket, no planning at all. In fact, the selectors wanted Shami Hussain to come instead of Mahmudullah. Thank goodness for Mahmudullah, we at least got to 240. Otherwise, we would have been booked less than 200. This is not a cricket team. I just don't see where this is going. Taskin, he bowled so well. 
and now here he's bowling so badly we can't even give him a full 10 overs. The team had a plan that Tamim Iqbal would lead the team into the World Cup. What happened? If Tamim had done drama, then again it's on the board not to manage him properly. We have physios that are paid very, very well and our players keep getting hurt in practice throwdown sessions. Injury after injury. Why? There's one professional in the whole Bangladesh setup, Alan Donald, and you can see his results in the bowling lineup that we have. Why is there no more Tamim Iqbal? Why is why do we have a wish version of Tamim in Tamzid Tamim? Why? Where is the next Shakib? Where is the next Muhammadullah? Is everybody going to be fed on a diet of BPL? And BPL, by the way, is one of the worst cricket tournaments. There is no standard. The team names keep changing every time. The players keep changing their teams. Like you can't even build an identity on one team. And based on BPL, we choose our World Cup team. We are supposed to be set for the World Cup. You should know. Like we, we have Tanzit Tamim who's coming into the team one series before the World Cup and then you put him in the World Cup. This is not 2005 that Bangladesh is a new team. We have been playing tests since God knows when. Nobody will lose their jobs over this. Nobody. Because this is Bangladesh. You are appointed based on other criteria. Why do we stay up? Like we are, we are fools. We are fools to stay up 1, 1 a.m., 4.30 a.m. to watch a cricket game that players don't even take seriously. It seems that we fans take the game more seriously than the players, than the board. And this rant is not new. It's been going on for some time. Well, anyways, let's come to the other teams. Congratulations to New Zealand. You have done very well. And I really hope that if not for Bangladesh, I would really want either New Zealand or South Africa to win this World Cup. And if not to Pakistan. It would be great for Pakistan to go to India and win the World Cup. And at least these teams have a chance. Who do Bangladesh play next? India? Australia? Yeah, right. This has been the corridor of uncertainty and today we are uncertain of Bangladesh's chances to even progress to the next stage. Take care and tomorrow is a big game, India-Pakistan, good luck to both, see you after that.